What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexia. Welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, of course, it is time for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator. And today, we're going to have a bit of a coconut party for a couple of different reasons. So, three, two, one. Playing the hive. How are you doing everyone? I hope you guys are good. Uh, of course, the brand new update has been out now for a few days and literally like, oh, I don't know, like 30 minutes ago or so, the server shut down and they reopened for like the official sort of hard launch, I guess, of uh, the game. So you'll now see that the icon has changed and all that good stuff on it started posting stuff around on Twitter. And it seems like we are pretty good to go uh, with this main update. However, as he did actually, oh, it's updated. Hey, okay. I wasn't expecting it to, <laughs> okay. Um, so initially I came into this video thinking I was going to do something different, but we actually now have a brand new traveling bear. So yeah, this is exactly what he promised. He did say that the game would then re-update at the weekend with a brand new uh, traveling bear and this one I think is more catered towards newer players and lower level players but I think that's still really cool <gasps> look Sun Bear is back hey oh my goodness what accent did Sun Bear have was he American <laughs> should I go and check yes it was my horrendous American accent <laughs> oh thank goodness okay I never thought we'd be able to do it again in Beast Swarm but this is fantastic news um yeah I have oh Hey, okay, so this is kind of cool. So this is one of the new mobs that we saw uh, a couple of episodes ago. So this is like the, the jelly bee bugs or the jelly bugs, whichever one you prefer. And these guys, um, they, they kind of spawn randomly in the fields. Um, and basically they kind of hop about and they drop a load of jelly beans and they just kind of help along really. So there's a jelly bean bug in a cage, <laughs> which is so funny. All right, let's talk to him first. All right. Oh, that's all right. I'm back. It's me, Sun Bear, the coolest bear, back in my favorite podunk mountain town. Nah, I'm just messing with you. This place is special. But I don't have time to chit chat. I'm not here on vacation. I'm just passing through and ran into a little trouble. Nothing I can't handle. But why get my hands dirty when I can pay some chump? I mean, I mean, pay some good folks like you to help me out. <laughs> Put you guys to work. Here's the deal. I'm supposed to be taking a bunch of bean bugs to Orlando. Bean bugs, you know, purple critters that hop around and shoot jelly beans. Uh, the thing in the cage right behind me. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details. They've broken out. I need your help to clean up this mess. It'll be 10 quests, and I should be able to round them up and head out. Like I said, I'll pay you well. 250 tickets? We got a deal? Nice. <laughs> you know, 250 tickets don't come easy. How about you make things entertaining uh, for me while I'm stuck here waiting? Every year I stop by to see your world famous bees use their crazy abilities. Uh, may as well take in the sights while I'm here. Yeah, that sounds good, okay? You want these tickets? You want those bean bugs? Uh, <laughs> and by roundup, I mean collect the jelly bean tokens they shoot out their mouths. These jelly bean tokens give crazy pollen collecting buffs. Your beekeepers are lucky I let those bugs loose here. Uh, how do you find them? Well, just wait around, I guess. They hide away most of the time, but they'll pop out every once in a while. And while you're waiting, let's see some awesome ability tokens. First up, collect 10 tokens from bean bugs and 25 ability tokens. And make it quick. I got a deadline. I'm out of here when that clock strikes zero with or without them bugs. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, 250 tickets is uh, the reward, I guess, for this, um, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I missed you. So yeah, it's more of like a lower level thing, I guess, but it's still really nice. And 250 tickets is always useful. So we will plop along with that quest line in the background. However, before we saw the little sun bear chilling, basically the plan today is to do three codes brand new ones, including one which I think is going to be very, very spicy indeed, and also buy the coconut canister. Oh my goodness. Hey, speaking of which, <laughs> there they are. So yeah, they were in here, and now they've just popped into this field. So sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. I don't know quite how it works out, but look at them. They're so cool. Okay, I just thought I'd grab those because why not, right? Um, okay, so first up, before we do the codes, 
Uh, I want to go and grab the coconut canister. Actually, no. To be honest, we can do a couple of the codes now, and then we can do, like, the main meaty one a little bit later on. Um, so, yeah, we might as well do a couple of these. So, the one that just came out as of, like, uh, right now, I think. I'm not 100% sure what it does, but the code is uh, Tornado. There we go. So this bad boy literally just came out with this Sunbear mini update, I guess. So three, two, one. Ta-da! We get ourselves a free cloud vial, three jelly beans, and a free royal jelly. So most useful for that, obviously, is going to be the cloud vial. And uh, we might as well do the second code as well. So this one is um, for some more free stuff. Um, so yeah, this one is B... Sorry, Bees Buzz... One, two, three. There we go. Bees buzz. One, two, three. And three, two, one. Ta-da! Another free cloud vial. Another three free jelly beans. And this time, five gumdrops. So those are the two codes that give you some extra items. Well worth it, I think, for the cloud vials. Um, and yeah, we're going to do the spicy, meaty, boosty code a little bit later on. But first, we're going to make the coconut canister. And in order to do this, we're going to have to take down an old friend again. He's back. <laughs> he's a very angry crab. Oh, he's old crabby. Okay, lads. Bear with. I'm going to take this guy down. Okay, I feel like that weird health reset thing has definitely been sorted because it hasn't reset once and we've just been able to take him down way quicker than we did last time, it feels. And um, so I think it took us like, hey, oh, I forgot about this bit. Oh, it's so good. Yes, go in a party. Everyone's invited. Okay, I'm going to try and go mainly for the tropical drinks because the thing is, the coconuts are good, but if you do really need coconuts, all you need to do is um, plant sprouts in the coconut field and you get a bunch of them. Whereas the actual tropical drinks, you do need to then actually, you know, craft those. So I feel like the tropical drinks... Oh, I've got star jelly as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, were we quicker that time? I felt like we were quicker. How do we... Yeah, one minute 20 as opposed to two minutes. So that's a little bit quicker for me, which is nice. Um, and... Uh, we now have a bunch of coconuts. We've got 150 coconuts. We've got 155 tropical drinks, which means we're not going to make the boots. We are going to make the boots at some point because it gives you the ability. But I think because the gummy boots, I feel are better. Um, I think you can also have the coconut haste ability if you own them, but you can have the gummy boots equipped. So this is kind of a new feature. You can actually start like basically sharing the abilities. But we're going to make this bad boy. Coconut canister. So here it goes. Okay, here we go. 200. No, sorry. 25 billion honey. 100 coconuts. 150 tropical drinks. 150 red. And 150 blue extract. Oh, how exciting. In three, two, one. Ta-da! <laughs> we got it. Hey, look. We got a coconut canister. Oh, it's so cool. Oh man, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna miss the old backpack that served us so well. Many a grindy session has been done, but... <laughs> Look at the size of this bad boy. Yes! Oh, I love it. Well, there we go. This is our first of the brand new items. So, in case you're wondering, we are gonna make, like, the petal ones and stuff, but uh, I haven't quite got around to doing too many of the new quests just yet. I'm kind of waiting on uh, just getting some strawberry tokens. But yeah, I'm going to crack on with these in the background. We basically, for our first spirit petal, we need to complete 10 quests. Um, so yeah, we are definitely going to be doing that in the background. Do not fear. That will not take us too long, I think. But as of right now, uh, I kind of wanted to make this canister first. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. Okay, so the cool thing about the code that we're going to do is that it actually contains a coconut field times one boost. So here's my plan, right? I'm going to go and hit the coconut uh, dispenser to get the one times boost. I'm going to do that for 15 minutes or maybe 14 minutes. Then we're going to redeem the code, which will double it up uh, to two. And then we're going to use glitter to make it three. So basically, hopefully we're going to get a three times coconut field boost. Now, the thing is... I was also thinking I might just roll all the field dice <laughs> just to see what happens. And seeing as we're at the Wind Shrine, um, I kind of wanted to just donate the things that we need to donate for the quest. So I think we need to do 100, uh, 100 uh, sunflower seeds. See, I don't know if you guys have seen the winds just yet, but this is a really, really, really powerful buff, um, which is uh, contained within the Wind Shrine. And basically... It's really, really good because you have these things called wind boosts in fields. So I kind of wanted to just show you roughly what they do. 
chances of us getting coconut field is not that high, but there is a coconut field one that is included in the code, uh, which is really, really good. So, uh, 100 sunflower seeds. There we go. Windshrine is happy with us. Thank you very much. And then it spawns a bunch of tokens around. Oh! It's actually giving us coconut wins. Hey, okay, 15 minutes. I'm gonna do this now with, so yeah, basically this is instant conversion, 40% instant conversion. Oh my goodness, all right. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do this quickly, BRB, and then we're gonna do the code, and then we're also gonna use a marshmallow B when we've got half an hour with a times two and a times three. Happy days. Okay, I tell you what we'll actually do, um, because I feel like this could be potentially like a really, really nice uh, sort of grindy session, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get as much coconut field boost as possible. I did actually just see the coconut ability and I completely missed it. It was really cool. A load of coconuts dropped out the sky. It was really awesome. Uh, okay, but I might as well just tell you guys the code right now. So I'm gonna break my rule a little bit here. Like normally, when it comes to like codes with other creators and stuff in, I don't tend to post them. Uh, however, I feel like I'm gonna make an exception here for a couple of different reasons. Um, so this is actually a celebration code for the number one player. Uh, his name is Gumarden, and he's like, he's got like double the amount of honey as anyone else. It's madness. <laughs> but uh, I think he recently hit like 10 trillion or something. You can actually see on the board, I think it's, yeah, 10 trillion. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna break my rule a little bit just because I didn't actually think the dude had a YouTube channel. I thought he was just like a player, but apparently he does have a YouTube channel. And I went and had a little look just before and it's like not as popular as I feel like it probably should be <laughs> just because of, you know, like all of the beast form and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna link that channel in the description below. If you wanna go and check it out, please feel free to do so. Uh, I think he does like, um, it seemed like he does beast form live streams. Um, so I think that they would be like super interesting to see, um, you know, see how other people play and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's Gumarden is the dude. This is his code, I guess. Uh, it's a celebration code for hitting 10 trillion, <laughs> which is all forms of madness. Oh, coconuts, look. Yes! <laughs> oh, am I supposed to get underneath them? I need to read the ability. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So yeah, this is his celebration code, basically. And I'm going to pop it up on the screen now. The code is GUMARDEN10T. Uh, so we are going to use this code in a second when our one stack gets a little bit low. Uh, but I'll tell you what it does right now. It gives you a pepper patch boost times one, pepper patch wins times three, a coconut field boost times one, coconut field wins times three, which is going to be amazing. Uh, blue flower field boost times two, blue flower wins times three, another cloud vial, and 15 pineapples. Um, yeah, so I'm going to link the dude's um, channel in the description below. If you want to check it out, please feel free to do so. Uh, and yeah, 10 trillion. That's madness. GG's. Hey, okay. So uh, yeah, I just... Whilst I'm doing this quickly, uh, there's a couple of things here which I thought were kind of cool. So I'm just going to tell you what they do. So one of the passives of this coconut canister is one called uh, Inspire Coconuts. And every fifth Inspire token, so those are the ones with little gold stars on, uh, it drops five falling coconuts onto the field. So that's the one that I've been seeing. And you can actually go underneath them and it will give you honey, which I thought was really, really cool. <laughs> so yeah, the green circles, if you see those in the field at any point, that is that passive ability. And every five... Not too bad. You should be seeing that quite a lot. And then the other one is the one that I'm kind of excited to look at. It's the Emergency Coconut Shield. So it says, upon taking damage, activates a shield that grants 100% defense and 1.25B attack for 10 seconds and drops five falling coconuts into the field. Uh, has a cooldown of five minutes. So this is, I think, only when you take damage. So once again, I feel like this is going to be really good for stick bug. Uh, and yeah, also the coconut crab, I guess. Um, so yeah, we'll see that in action at some point, but I've got to say I'm loving my big coconut. Lovely. Okay, here we go. So, uh, I don't want to risk it too much. The only problem that's a little bit annoying, I guess, is that when I've got like so many buffs and stuff running on and I go and empty the hive, I can't actually see how long my boosts are without hovering over them. <laughs> so I'm a little bit paranoid about like, you know, messing it up or whatever. Um, but yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. So we're going to go and activate the code and hopefully that will be good. So we've got 20 seconds to do that. We should have plenty of time. Uh, so Gumarden 10T. 3, 2, 1, boom! Yeah! Here we go! So yeah, this given us coconut wins times for- Oh, it's doubled up our coconut wins as well? Oh, geez. Okay, we're going to throw on one of those. And we are also going to start using some of our tropical drinks. So let's go and do that. Right, so what I'll do is I'm going to farm this for a while, and then I'm going to use some glitter. Uh, and then I'm going to try and roll some field dice on the third go and see if we can actually 
get some fat stacks going. So yeah, this may take me half an hour, potentially like um, a bit longer, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, happy days. Good times farming. There's going to be some serious coconuts going on here. Okie dokies, so that's half an hour done, and I'm not even going to risk it too much, I'm just going to go and straight up glitter, like, right away. So I've used all my micro converters up, unfortunately, I was kind of thinking it would be best just to, like, use them, get an extra slot, I don't know, maybe we should have saved them, it doesn't really matter too much, so boom, there we go. Hey, oh, does it cap at three times? Ah, okay, so I feel like the coconut field caps at three. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Um, so yeah, I can't, that kind of makes total sense, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm kind of wondering, like, is the field dice potentially going to redo it again for 15 minutes? The only sad thing now, I guess, is that uh, we have run out of the wind boost. So coconut field wind. So that was 50% instant conversion, which is a really, really nice amount. So now, unfortunately, we're going to have to go back to the hive and fill up and stuff. Uh, but not the end of the world. We might as well just keep going. I'm going to mess about with the field dice, I guess. Um, we can try them. We've got 19. We don't really use them too often, so yeah, I'll give it a go. The only annoying thing about the auto-dropping is that it, it drops it when you're, like, not at the hive. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, not in the field. So, like, it would be really cool if it only dropped it if you're in a field. So you have to turn it on and off, but it's not a big deal. Okie dokies. Well, I'm still here, still farming away and all that good stuff. Um, so I think I've got, like, two minutes or so left, but... I was kind of curious, like, is the coconut field actually in the field dice? Oh, there we go, pepper patch. Okay, so yeah, I kind of thought, well, we should probably start rolling the dice early, <laughs> just in case, um, because who knows, right? So we've got a load of spider, uh, pine tree, okay. I mean, this is this is a bit sort of, sort of hit and hope, really, isn't it? But it would be kind of cool. Man, we've got another pepper patch. Dude. Okay, if we get three times pepper, we can change to the pepper field. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll see. We can go We can go like red, can't we? Um, so let's see if we can get another spider field boost. Are you kidding? See, the thing is, like, if we can get another booster, it's probably worth me using another marshmallow bee. Um, because why not, right? But it depends if we can get one. So we've got seven more goes. Pine tree again. Oops, I used glue again by accident. Stump field boost. Mushroom field boost. Come on, dandelion field boost. Cactus boost. No, I don't think we're going to get it. Mountaintop field again. Ah, oh, sunflower. Okay, so we're out of field dice, unfortunately. See, so yeah, I guess this is our coconut journey finished for now. So I'm kind of curious. Like, I do really like the gummy mask still, and I've just been using it for this boost because why not? But seeing as we've now got a two times pepper lined up, part of me is really tempted to try out the demon mask, but at the same time... I do still like my gummy. Hmm. I might just roll with the, the, the gummy mask for now. Um, just because I've just been using it this whole time. But I kind of want to mess around a bit with the different masks and just see like what the changes are and stuff. Uh, but yeah, for now anyway, I think we should be good. We've had a big old session here. This has gone really well. Jeez. Okay. Oh, 49 seconds though. Oh, so sad. So the big question is, how did we do with our coconut boost? Um... See, I haven't done any other grinding today. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Oh, 11.6 billion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? So for me, that's pretty good. The thing is, technically, you could actually go even bigger than that. So, you know, if you used your wealth clock and if you've got your boost going, uh, you could get some extra stuff. Imagine if you had, like, the new collectors and stuff. Oh, that would be so good. Dude. All right, so 11.6 billion from our little boosty session here today. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. One marshmallow bee and just a code and some field boosters and a couple of tropical drinks. <laughs> I'm pretty content with that. Yeah. Very, very good. Awesome. So I tell you what I'm going to do now. Seeing as we've got a two times pepper and then we can also make it three times pepper. I'm going to do another half an hour boost here in the pepper patch. Uh, purely just because I kind of want to slowly unlock the badges. Uh, and red pollen is fun pollen. So why not, right? Okie dokie, seems like our pepper patch field boosty thingamajiggy is coming to an end. Uh, so I think this has also gone pretty well. Uh, and this was just randomly off field dice, I guess. So <laughs> can't really complain too much. A bit of a bit of a big old uh, honey making sesh and a couple of observations. Number one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the auto gumdrop dropper, you use a lot of gumdrops. Jeez, I think I must have used about 600 gumdrops already, uh, which is which is a lot. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't, you can use them manually, of course, but 
I guess if you want to be lazy, you can use the automatic one, uh, which is kind of nice. And um, number two, just from like listening in the background, it seems now when a, a, like a, a sprout appears in the background, over time, it actually pops itself, which is really weird. I was just listening to it and I could hear the growing noises. It was going like, boop, boop, boop. And then I saw in the uh, pineapple patch, the sprout actually burst and, you know, all of the drops were all around. So I guess that's kind of cool, especially if you're like a lower level player and you find a sprout that... Oh, it's finished anyway. Yeah, you find a sprout that you can't actually do by yourself. It seems like they grow themselves, which is really bizarre. Unless... Oh! Unless, of course, there was a cloud in that field. Maybe that was it. Ah. Yeah, maybe there was a cloud with my Windy Bee ability? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Either way, the, the, it popped itself, so yeah, I wasn't even in the field, so maybe it was a cloud, actually, come to think of it. Anyway, how did we do? 3, 2, 1, 15.2 billion! <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. That was a big old sesh, but 15.2 billion in what? How long did we do? Like an hour and a half? I'll take that. I'll take that any day. That's pretty good for me. Nice. So yeah, basically, now begins the great coconut harvest of 2019. Um, so basically, any kind of coconut that we get, we're going to instantly have to try and make into tropical drinks. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this a mixture of ways. Obviously, the coconut crab is going to be really, really important for those extra tropical drinks and those coconuts. Uh, but I'm also going to... I think we're going to do, like, sprouts. So just a bunch of sprouts in the coconut field. I've got 103... Sorry, magic beans, even. Uh, so I think that's another good way of getting coconuts, and I think I'm also going to now start properly cracking on with the uh, the, the new uh, questline. So yeah, I want to try and get a spirit petal pretty soon, because I'm thinking the next one that I want to make is... Um, I don't know. I quite fancy the collector, although the belt does look cool. We're going to get both, obviously, but... We need to make some coconuts because I do want to make those coconut boots. And I do also want to start crafting the new petal gear. Um, so yeah, we will do some grinding. We'll do some quests, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to put me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Ranty up.